Today we're going to be looking at the new Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. Dew with blast of heat and citrus, but how hot and spicy will this new Mountain Dew flavor actually be? YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, today we have the new Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. Kinda new. I mean, it's been out for some time in the past where you could just order it online. You know, it was out for a few days. I think it sold out right away. So people could try it then months ago. Now it's out in stores pretty much everywhere. So if you wanna try it, it's a limited edition. You can get it in bottles or cans and 20, 12 packs or whatever. So it's readily available. But is it something you're gonna wanna buy? Like, especially like a 12 pack of this? We'll try it out, see how it is. See if I recommend it's something that you just, maybe just get a bottle to try it or if it's a good enough flavor to get a 12 pack. All right, nutrition facts, 280 calories for a bottle. This is a 20 ounce bottle, 0% um, fat, 90 milligrams of sodium, 74 grams of carbs, 73 grams of sugar. Not the healthiest drink, not even close. Okay, um, Mountain Dew's website, Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot Spicy Meat Sweet Dew Flavor with Burst of Heat and Lemon Flavoring. Limited time. I mean, the bottle looks cool, right? Like the labeling. Caution. Flamin' Hot Taste. I'm not the biggest fan of Flamin' Hot. I'll eat Flamin' Hot like Cheetos and other snacks that have Flamin' Hot on it. I don't love the flavor, but... I don't know. I've never thought, hmm, flaming hot. We need that in a drink. But leave it to Mountain Dew to do some crazy flavors. They did that. And yeah, I can still, it's still in the store, at least at my Meyer. They still have at least one 12 pack of the gingerbread one. And I think I still have it in my closet out there. That wasn't a very good flavor. So I'm hoping this is better than that. All right, flaming hot Mountain Dew. Doesn't smell. Spicy, just smells like Mountain Dew. Initial taste. Oh, there is. There's a little heat there. Like, kind of weird, because you're like, oh, that's just Mountain Dew, and then you're like, wait, because the heat's not in my mouth anywhere yet. It's as it was going down my throat. Like, I could feel a little, a little spice there. Taste-wise, am I picking up the flame and hot taste? Not, maybe just very, very slightly. Um, I think I've heard people say it's kind of like a code red, like a sp spicy code red kind of. I can see that. Um, hmm. It's different. Because other than... And I wouldn't even, I don't even if I would say it's burning my throat. You can just feel like, you can just tell there's something going on in my throat right now. Like it's, like you had the mildest bit of spice. Cause I'm getting no heat in my mouth whatsoever. Not on my lips, not on my tongue, roof of the mouth, nowhere in my mouth am I getting any spice. It's just like in the sides of my throat. That being said, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. Would I want a 12 pack of this? Me personally, no. I mean, it's okay, but I think that feeling in my throat is more annoying than anything else. Like if it was gonna be hot, I'd almost want a whole mouth burn, not just like my throat. Again, I'm really not getting much flaming hot flavor at all which I guess is good for me because I'm not a huge fan of that. But if you are a huge fan of like, man, I really, I want this because I love flame and hot flavor, you might be disappointed with it because I'm not really tasting much of that. It just tastes like a Mountain Dew. Like I said, code red I'm getting. With a little, little. Like if I didn't have that in my throat, I'd say there's no spice in it whatsoever. Because when you drink it and you drink it down, like right now, I taste no spice, no spice. Cause the, the liquid, the coolness of the drink kind of cools your throat. And then all of a sudden, it, once that goes down, then you're like, oh, now I feel the burn, slight burn. And again, just my throat. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I guess it's it's kind of neat. It's something different. I mean, pick it up. Maybe keep a couple. Don't even open them. Save them. You know, this could be a collector's thing. You know, if they ever, they may never bring this back again. So there might be something to hold on to. Maybe pick up a case. Maybe pick up a 12 pack and stick it away. I don't know. I don't think you'd get this and be like, I love that flavor. I'm just going to keep drinking it. Because to me, it's not, because you have that kind of throat burn with the drink, it makes it not as refreshing as what a normal soda or pop, however you, whatever you're, where you live, leave in the comments below. Soda or pop? I'm from the north, from Michigan. We call it pop. I know there are people here that call it soda, but the majority of people call it pop. And I know when you get farther south, it turns into soda. And there's some places where it's Coke is the reference to uh, sodas and pops. It's like, oh, you want a Coke? Okay. Yeah, I'll take a Coke. What flavor Coke? Coke. A root beer Coke? It, it's kind of strange. That one I think is the strangest when people call soda or pop Coke. I think it was Georgia. I don't know if they still do it. Leave in the comments below if where you live they call beverages Coke. Then they ask you what flavor. All right, Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot, if I gave it a ranking on a scale of one to 10, for what it is, it's kind of unique. Doesn't have that much of a Flamin' Hot taste to me. There's more heat to it than I thought. I figured, ah, oh, there wouldn't be much. Like, I can still feel it in my throat. Um, I'll give it a six. It's not bad. Again, it's gimmicky in my mind. It's something to try. Maybe give it to your friends, your family, try it out, see what you guys think of it. I wouldn't buy, like I said, unless you're keeping it for like a collector's thing, I wouldn't buy a 12 pack just to drink. I most likely won't even finish this. I won't buy it again, but there you go. Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. Leave in the comments below if you've tried it. What do you think of this drink? Um, is it something you'd like or is it just like, ah, that's kind of unique. I'm glad I tried it once, but I won't get it again. I'd like to know your comments on that. If anybody out there really enjoys this, where you're just gonna keep drinking this like this is your new Mountain Dew if it is you better buy a lot of it because it's a limited time and won't be around long there you go if you've enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already subscribed I'll see you in the next video